Hi, fans in Korea. I love you. <laughs> oh, it's Saturday night. Swear to God, I ain't never gonna repent. Mama, can I get another amen? Yeah, the, the title, Pray for the Wicked, just summed it all up for me. It came from the song, uh, Say Amen Saturday Night. It's the first line of the chorus. And it, I just pulled it because it felt just so natural. It made sense that the stuff I was talking about, it, you know, uh, there's a song called Roaring Twenties. I'm talking about Broadway and my stint on that and like the rest of my 20s and how 30 was just like, it hit. And during Broadway, I was able to just come into this new era. Um, but it touches on a lot of like my childhood and um, me reflecting back on that and now you know, being less cynical in the sense that I used to just not keep my hopes up because then I was never disappointed. But now I keep my hopes so high and just fail, 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 try again, try again, and hopefully succeed. But it's just, I don't know, there's something more appealing to me about that I think as I get older. And that's, yeah, pray for the wicked. <laughs> yeah, so the video for Say Amen was done by the same director that did This Is Gospel and Emperor's New Clothes. And we wanted to do a trilogy. We had talked about it when we did this is Gospel, the first video. If you love me, let me go. If you love me, let me go. And we wanted to tie in with another one, so we did Emperor's New Clothes. And if you don't know, now you know. I'm taking back the crown. I'm all dressed up and naked. I see what's And then we needed a prequel. We needed to figure out how I end up in the hospital. And so we made me a bad guy that stole this demon key um, and uh, made me like super powerful and I'm like chopping dudes hands off and throwing them through windows. And that's just not what nice people do. So then I get killed at the end of it, um, spoilers. And then, uh, yeah, it just, it, it was just fun to do because the, the director Cloud is just next level genius and to work with him is like such a treat. So. For him to tie that all together was just something so special. I want to continue. I want to figure out what else we can add to it, but the trilogy's pretty good. It was awesome. <laughs> I think they just, they opened last year too with uh, in Korea, right? I think they might have done that. But they um, Kinky Boots is man, that was so terrifying and rewarding and challenging and so much fun. I I still can't believe that I was on Broadway. Like, that's a really big deal to me. Um, it's a huge milestone. I met some of the best friends that I now have because of that show. Um, fellow cast members, everybody, crew, directors. Like, it was really fortunate. I was very fortunate to step into that world with the people that I did. I had no idea what to expect. I was very scared. I almost canceled the day before I flew out because I was having an anxiety attack, which I can laugh about now, but it was terrifying. I was in like tears and like having a nervous breakdown. I called my manager and he was just like trying to calm me down and I'm like bawling. I'm just like, I can't fly with you. I can't go. I don't think I'm going to do good. And he's like, whatever, whatever. And I finally calmed down. He calmed me down and I realized like it doesn't matter. You know, I'm going to go there and try my best and that's all I can do. I think it's going to be fun. And it was the most fun I've ever had. And it helped me get inspiration for this new album and for live shows, for tour. That was amazing. That was our first time in uh, Korea. It was just, it was so cool. Um, it's a really cool town, like a cool city in, in Seoul. We, we had a little bit of time to kind of walk around, hit a bar. Um, the culture's fun as hell. Um, the festival was amazing. I didn't know what to expect, having not gone there before. But yeah, the fans were amazing. We got to do a short little meet and greet, met some amazing people. They had gifts, they had drawings, they had letters, and yeah, it was special. It was very fun. We met some really talented people too, really talented artists. Um, there's just, we met hundreds of people, and it was just so much fun. I always want to go back. Um, I think last time we fired our booking agent, that's probably that, because we hadn't gone in a decade. So hopefully that changes, but um, yeah, I, I do hope that we get back sooner. Um, I'm trying to make that a thing, that we don't just stay in the States more often, that we do make it a point to go around the world. It's just more fun that way. And you can claim, like, you know, in one year you went to all these countries, it's kind of cool. Right. Next time I'll bring you some Korean stuff. Yeah, if you bring me alcohol, I'm going to come to your country. It's, it's done. Deal. Like, it's over. Yeah, 2018. Um, right now, tour is the biggest plan. And... Like even I was up last night at like till 2 a.m. just writing tour transitions and coming up with tour video ideas and like production ideas that we're finalizing right now. So yeah, it's still very much in the works. I don't even know what the final thing is going to be. I can see a vision like on the horizon, but 
I think I'm still going to be surprised even up to the last day before the tour starts. Um, but yeah, once that kicks off, then we're in high gear and I, I'm so ready to just keep playing shows, live shows. Ooh, that's tough. That's really tough. Um, oh, jeez. It probably hasn't been out yet. There's a song called High Hopes on the album that's like one of my favorites. <clears throat> Actually, my favorite right now. Yeah, I think that that's a good representation of where Panic's going in the future. That, that one to me sounds the most forward thinking. You have to wait. You have to wait another couple months. Sorry, man. <laughs> Always had a feeling I was gonna be that one in a million Always